Shorty get down on the flow. She got a man to be doing the moves. I'm stopping pictures. She be cranking them poses. We took a thousand before she could pose. It's shorty, shorty. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Ashtrack TV. No God. And this the more you know with no God, right? So we're going to give you five excuses people give to not pay or to hire you as a photographer or videographer. It's 2023. We're stepping out our game. We're not going for none of that, all right? We're getting paid all year. It's new year, new money. Stay tuned. So what's up, y'all? It's 2023, you got your camera. You've been doing this for a very long time. Let's just say five years. I've been going a little longer than that. Let's just say five years. You're trying to find clients. You're, you're in the niche you want to. You might shoot music videos. You might do product photography. But some things are just not clicking. You know, you run into little issues and you, maybe you run into excuses. You're sending out your, this is my typing fingers. You're sending out your emails, you're sending out your texts, you're sending out your, you know, your socials, you're hitting up everybody. Yo, you know, I'm dope, I can do this, ooh, ooh, ooh. But they're not getting back to you. Or maybe you're getting to a certain point with your client, you're starting the conversation, they're coming back, but then they don't like your price. And here's the, the number one, I think that's just like pet peeve that I just can't tolerate anymore, is when people say, I can buy my own camera. Bro, you can literally buy any camera you want, but do you know how to use it? I'll just, let's break it down, right? When I first bought my, my Black Magic, I was just so in awe about this camera. When it first came out, and I was just like, I gotta have this camera, I gotta have this camera. I get this camera, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm over here, I'm shooting movies. Universal gonna be calling me, you know, Tyler Perry. Hey, Tyler Perry, bro, hook me up, bro. Like, I got a Black Magic, right? No, you gotta learn how to use that equipment. So not only are you paying for a videographer to stand there and film what it is, you know, what you have going on, whether you're a content creator, maybe it's for a wedding or, you know, a commercial, you got to know what you're using. So that comes with practice. That comes with education. You can buy all the equipment in the world, but if you don't know how to use that equipment, you're not going to get anywhere. When I first got this black magic, my footage was trash. So it doesn't matter about the camera, it, not, it matters about the knowledge and you know who you're hiring. So don't disrespect, this is for the clients out there, don't disrespect your fellow local photographer or videographer saying that I can just buy my own camera. There's no way you're gonna know how to use that the same way a professional would and make your content come out the way it needs to be. So that's number one. Man, we're not taking that. Somebody say that to you, you just delete them, block them, all that, and clients, Come on, man. It's 2023. We cutting it out. You can't shoot your own wedding with your iPhone. You know this. Let's move on to the next one. But number two, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's number two? Number two is ridiculous. And it's only ridiculous to a certain extent of who you're dealing with, right? So number two is, man, that's not in my budget. You want me to pay $1,000, $1,200? You want me to pay... 850 650 for a music video but then you just break it down for them right okay what do you want in your music video you got to have the models right there's no music videos about the girls shaking the booties you having fun you need prop money you need a location whether outside or inside you might need permits if you're shooting outside right so all of these things start to tally up so when a person comes to you and they say there's not in my budget you just have to break it down for them okay what did it how do you see yourself in this video? What it is that you need for this video to come together? A lot of folks uh, that I deal with personally, they like special effects. Okay, that's cool. So how much do you think you're gonna invest into these special effects in order, you know, for your video to look how a little boozy video? Nah, let's not say that. NBA young boy, let's go a little younger. You know what I'm saying? You wanna, you wanna look like Key Glock in your videos. You wanna look like G Herbo. Oh, you want little Dirk effects. You want the speed ramp and you want the, the cars in the background. You want the women. All this comes with a budget. So normally, especially when it comes to music videos, I don't understand how you can shoot any music video for less than $1,500. And that's just being legit. So let's break it down even further, right? So uh, on shoot days, how many cameras do you think are going to be present? How long do you want me to shoot? Oh man, I need you to get everything. I need you to get my man over here. He just came home from jail, man. Make sure you get him on camera, Slim. Oh yeah, then we gonna slide in my other man house all down the way. But see, when you start having all these, it's like, okay, the price is shooting up. And that's how you start to knock out all of those type of clients and you start knocking out all that extra stuff that you probably not even gonna put in the video. 
They want to catch their friends smoking over here. They want to catch you looking sweet over here. My man just got a merry outfit. It was his birthday last week. We couldn't film, but we got to get him today because we filming. Nah, bro. So this is what's going to happen. I charge $1,000 for a full day rate for a music video. You get a certain amount of time. Let's say you get six hours of time of filming, and then we have another camera person on deck. So not only are you getting the final content of video, you get behind the scenes video, and you get behind the scenes photos. We're pushing this out to like a month worth of content. So you want me to provide a month worth of content for $350? Less than $500? It's kind of ridiculous. So that's another one. We got to get that out of there, man. We're not doing that in 2023. You want a music video? You want to look sweet? You got to pay as you way, man. Come with your chicken right. Let's go to the next one. Woo! Man. We on number three. When I say this is like, it get crazy, Slim. Like, I'm from, I'm from DMV. We say Slim. That's just, that's just a term we use. Y'all got to catch on. Y'all got to keep up. But man, it really gets crazy out here. This is number three, man. When I say number three is like vicious, you gotta be on point. And I'm talking to my fellow photographers and videographers out here. Don't let these people catch you slipping. Get your money first. What Dolph say? Rule number one, get the money first. Rule number two, don't forget the money. You get your deposit beforehand, and that's half the shoot price, or it could be 25% of the shoe price, depending on the price and who you're dealing with and what you're comfortable with. Me, personally, I'm getting half up front. And that's just to secure the day and the time. But then let me give you a quick rundown, right? Because this is where excuse, this would get crazy. This is where the excuses come in. If you don't get paid beforehand, guess what you're going to have to deal with? I'll wait. Y'all know already. I'll wait. Y'all done? Y'all came up with a couple? Let me tell you, number one excuse, being late. And I can't, I can't stress this enough, like, we all had our times, maybe or maybe not, we were late people, but when you're starting to run a business and you're taking it seriously and you're investing time, which you cannot get back, and then you start investing dollars, which is harder to get back, you can't make money back, but time you never get back. But one thing you can't get back is your time, right? And then money is so hard to get back, so you can't play with your money, your money and your time. So what am I getting at? Get your deposit first. Get your money first. Have those people's, if, if you're charging six fifty dollars for a shoot, have them send you three twenty five. dollars You know why? Because then you don't have to worry about anybody being late. They're going to come on time once they invested that money. Oh, trust and believe. They come on time, and if they don't, guess what? They forfeit the money. We're going to get into that later, because what comes after that, which is a contract, a little secret contract, contract. You're going to need that. But let's, let's stick to three real quick. So you, get, you don't get paid up front. You go to the shoot. You're there 30 minutes, maybe an hour early, depending on how punctual you are. You're setting up your lights. You're looking at the background. You're doing all this. You're looking at your watch. You're like, yo, it's almost game time. We got 15 minutes. We got 10 minutes. We got five minutes. Where they at? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm here already. I'm at the shoot. I set up the lights. I got my behind the scenes photographer. I got my, my whole team with me. Oh, y'all gonna be late? 30 minutes. Okay, no, I mean, we here. 10 minutes late? Okay, because your man gonna come and he gonna hold it down till you get here. Okay, then we'll start with his scenes. We'll catch some B roll. We got you. You hang up the phone. You look back at your watch. It's been 45 minutes. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Y'all still good, right? Y'all still good to come through? I mean, we here, wait here, my team here, it's cold outside, but we good, <laughs> we good, mm-hmm, yeah. You hang up that phone again, hey, look, that's when you just cancel the shoot. I cannot tell y'all how many times I have been early to a shoot. Promptly, you know, had the setup, had my peoples with me, battery charged, memory card, I'm on point with everything, I'm feeling vicious, I'm like, man, this the day. No call, no show. Sometimes they, they just don't even call. Just imagine that, right? So that's why you always got to make sure you get paid for it so you don't waste your time. And within that, you got to have your contract. I'm going to still get there. We're going to get there. But I just got to keep telling y'all before we get there and when we get there, have that contract. Have your stipulations, man. Know what you walking into. If them people do not pay you, you don't, you guaranteed to not have anything. They can say, they can tell you anything. Oh, my friend wasn't here. I'm going to tell y'all real excuses. My friend ain't here, so... uh. 
man, I don't know if we can get that scene. Let's just shoot this over here. You know? And you know what that even, uh, like, messes up later down the line? Your work. Yeah, you're not going to have no good work when people late. When people don't pay and they don't invest and they're not serious, come on, the project is not going to be what you thought it was going to be. You had all these big ideas. Yeah, my man got the G-Wagon. He going to pull up. You think your man going to pull up in the G-Wagon? He ain't pulling up in the G-Wagon. You got to have people that have enough money to get a rental and get their own cars. They relying on other people. They relying on people for everything. So if they don't have the deposit money, they not going to have nothing else. Another thing, it could be, uh, let's say you're just doing hair shots. You didn't get the deposit up front. Guess what's going to happen? The makeup artist didn't show up because you think they paid the makeup artist? No. You think a makeup artist is going to show up and they didn't get no money or not receiving any money? No, they probably got booked somewhere and, and then they tell her, oh yeah, I, I said I could do it as a friend, but you know what? I got booked for something, so now I'm not available. Now they're telling me, oh, we're going to have to shoot another day. No, I don't have any other days to shoot this week. You kind of just wasted my time today. You know, so we, in order to cut all that out, we're going to go right into number four, man. Get a contract. Get a contract. They online for free. Uh, find a family friend that's good with typing and paperwork. Uh, it's just different ways to go about this. But how I started my contracts off, yes, I did a little bit of research, but I also just put inside the contract what it is that I specifically need from people. So one big thing is uh, if you're more than 30 minutes late, the shoot is canceled. And it's up to me if I want to, uh, you know, give the money back or not. Most times you forfeited your refund. Simply because I won't tolerate it. It's 2023. How many times do I got to tell y'all it's new year, new money? We're not going for that. You understand what I'm saying? Get your, get your money first. We're going to have Dolph playing in the background too. I'm going to have a sound bite. We're going we're gonna to crank this up. So the contract is for respect that goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing it one way street. We're not just taking people money. Oh, you was late. Uh, no, nah, it's not like that. You know, especially if I've dealt with the client before and they're legit. You know, I'll deal with it. But that was number four, man. You get a contract. That's not really an excuse or nothing, but it's not an excuse for you even not to have one. There's no excuse not to have no contract. And we're going to go into this last one right now, y'all. Number five. Man, 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 man. All these excuses got me worn out. I can't lie. Whew. I've been doing photography nine years. I didn't hurt it all. But 2023, we ain't going for that. Ah, it's a wrap. Roll that shit up. Ah. No excuses. This is the last one, y'all. This is number five. Excuse number five is them not liking the finished product. And we're going to kind of recap and do everything, right? So a couple things, and I went through a lot, is the finished product. They get the finished product. Where my special effects? Where this? Where that? So I'm going to start off by saying this. Once you have your price, never go down. Because you already told them what you could do. So now they know what you can do, and they're going to want it for cheaper. When we talk about music videos specifically, commercials, I don't really have this much uh, problem with. Headshots, you know, it's a little different. But music videos, never back down. Never go down in your price. You see my conviction in my face? I'm not playing with y'all. Never. If you say you're going to do it for $650 or more, keep it at that price. Because once they get that finished product and they didn't talk you down, right? Say your normal price is $650 and they didn't talk you down to $350 because they just said, bro, I just need you to right here, right here, running gun. Now when they get the finished product, with the special effects, where this, this, and that, you're not gonna want to spend all your time doing that. I don't want to spend my time doing that. Not for 350, not for 300, not for 200, 250. You're not getting all that. You're not gonna get all the extra additives you would get at the full price. So never back down on your price because in the end, it's only gonna hurt you. I already said that earlier. And then when it just comes to making a finished product as a photographer, you, every time you turn on your camera, you want to be able to take it seriously. If you're not going to be able to take it seriously, then why are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Another reason is they weren't prepared, right? So in the beginning of a shoot, if they're not prepared, it's nine times ten, they're not going to like the finished product. I'm just going ahead and tell y'all, they are not going to like it. So another reason to, for, to like uh, have the contract, right, and to cancel the shoot if it's more than 30 minutes late, because say if you're dealing with sunlight and you're dealing with daylight hours, you don't have lights on hand. Now you done messed up the video. Now half the video is well lit and it looks very nice because the sunset going down, you got the golden hour effect going on, it's looking very beautiful, but then you're on the second scene and it's trash because now the light has went away. Let me give you a specific incident. This might 
This might hurt some people, y'all, because this is a real incident. I was in San Diego, California. Guess how long I waited for somebody on a shoot? This is the longest time I ever waited. This is why I'm so serious with y'all. I was out there for like three hours. Kept talking with her. Oh, I had to get my head done. I had to pick this. Oh, I got to go uh, pick up my peoples. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we waiting on the rental car. She put up in a, a sweet BMW now. The joint was sweet. But was it worth my time? Hell nah. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry, y'all. Hell nah. It was not worth my time. Do y'all understand? Like, we had a nice first half of the shoot for about five minutes until the, all that sunlight was gone. And then after that, straight, straight darkness. What'd I do? Because I'm so creative and I just got to get the shot. I got to look out for my clients. The customer's always right. Bullshit. Bullshit. Come on, man. We're not going for that. It's 2023. I already been through it for y'all. Y'all ain't got to go through that no more. Let me tell y'all. Cancel the shoot. Do you know this, this lady had the nerve to not like the shoot? After I done waited out there for three hours, it might have been longer. I'm giving her a little bit of grace today. I feel nice. You know? The more you know we know God. I know God, and I know God want me to give grace because he gave me grace. So I'm going to give her a little bit of grace. It was only three hours. Might have been four. You feel me? It's not worth it, bro. You think you're going to have it looking sweet? Oh, I use my uh, car lights. I'm going to light you. Uh, let's put your lights on in the background so now we got a little bit of death. Oh, my, my aperture dropped down to 1.8. We're going to let some light in. I'm shooting with the black man. I'm giving myself excuses at this point just because I just need it to go right. I want this to go right. She had her nice little outfit on, but you late. Now I said a finished product. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, can we switch this? Can we rearrange? Can we? Lady, look, no. I had to give it to a raw and that hurt my heart. I'm a nice person. But I'm here to tell y'all today, it's not worth it. That's reason number five. That's excuse number five, y'all. Let me do that better. That's excuse number five, y'all. We're not going for that. It's 2023. You hear me? New year, new money, we on point, we moving with purpose, we making sure our clients are moving how they supposed to be doing, we holding ourselves accountable first and foremost, and we getting things done. Hell yeah, get that contract. I'm out, it's Abstract TV, man.